amerikanske myndigheder skjuler UFO'er med teknologier, der kan give os en CO2-fri verden. Det siger en amerikansk lobbyist, der er 100% sikker på, at vi har haft besøg af rumvæsener. Men velkommen til DR2 Udland. Vi skal tale om UFO'er og rumvæsener lidt senere i udsendelsen. Overskrifterne kommer her. Himlen over Mexico. Billederne her er angiveligt taget af meksikanske jagerpiloter. 11 uidentificerede flyvende objekter, eller på dansk UFO'er. Her som markante lys, der bevæger sig over himlen. For nogle af billederne her, FUP. For manden her er de historiske. Han er USA's førende UFO-lobbyist og kræver nu, at USA åbner sine såkaldte X-Files. Arkiverne skulle efter sine indeholde utallige vidneudsagn fra amerikanere, der har set UFO'er og rumvæsner. Den engelske regering har allerede lagt sine X-Files ud på National Archives, så de er tilgængelige for alle. Tidligere på dagen talte vi med Stephen Bassett, som er lobbyist i Washington, og vi spurgte ham, om man helt ærligt tror på, at der har været rumvæsener her på jorden. Oh, I think it's a certainty. Uh, it's been established by 60 years of research by hundreds, if not thousands, of citizen science researchers in the United States and around the world. Massive evidence, photos, videos, radar logs. Witnesses are coming forward with, from within government. We have documents we've obtained from government files. It's a fact. It's a certainty. But what do you think is in those classified American files? Everything that they have learned about this issue with all of their resources since the 1940s, including the fact that they've had at least one extraterrestrial vehicle, probably more than one, they've been studying intensely with hundreds of billions of dollars of funding in underground government facilities, uh, trying to understand the propulsion system in those craft and the energy systems in those craft. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So they know a great deal. Uh, how much they know, of course, we won't know until they tell us. But, I mean, how do you think releasing those files is going to help us? Well, first of all, we need to know the truth about the world we live in. Uh, it's, no long, it's not appropriate for a government to withhold from their citizens something of this magnitude. Uh, this is pretty big information. The, the world needs to know that they're not alone uh, and that there's an ET engagement going on right now on the planet. But for the average person, we need that technology. The physics of those craft, the propulsion system and the energy systems, if they're anywhere as good as we think they are, would be transformative to our current status, addressing the environmental concerns we're being told about, the human conditions we're dealing with, with 25,000 children dying every day from lack of food, water, and, and a proper health care, uh, melting ice caps, holes in the ozone. We need that physics, and we're not going to get that physics until one nation, probably the United States, finally ends what I call a truth embargo and acknowledges this extraterrestrial presence as being fact. Well, is this going to save the climate? Or oh, very likely. The energy systems on those craft are probably zero carbon based. Uh, it's also possible that they will generate, could generate electricity at extraordinarily low cost, which opens up huge business opportunities and development possibilities. But again, Uh, uh, zero carbon based electricity worldwide, electric cars worldwide running on extremely inexpensive electricity. Obviously, that's going to dramatically uh, reduce the carbon emissions into the world, replacing all oil, coal driven plants, as well as nuclear plants, which is another issue. That's a big deal. Again, we're talking about a technological breakthrough of extraordinary magnitude. Uh, sitting in underground facilities in the United States, waiting for the truth embargo to allow them to bring it forward for uh, uh, safe commercial use. Well, the British, they recently uh, released their files. Nothing has really happened. Something is always happening. Since 2000, the French government issued the Cometa report indicating that the extraterrestrial hypothesis was almost certainly the explanation for this phenomena. Since then, they have released thousands of documents. The UK, Canada, Australia, Mexico, Brazil, Uruguay, Sweden, a private group, 60,000 pages, and not too long ago, Denmark. These are not just the release of files. These are messages from these countries, most of them former uh, allies of the United States, that the Cold War has been over for 18 years. That's why the truth embargo lasted until 91. We need that technology. We need you to end this truth embargo. We're running out of time, but why haven't these files been opened? Look, 
During the Cold War, it was simply too dangerous. They, the United States, I think, and their allies felt that bringing something like that into the public domain with tens of thousands of nukes pointed at each other, too risky. And so it really wasn't possible until 1991. Since then, it's been a matter of getting it done. The right president, the right political situation. There have been wars, there have been problems, and government tends to be reluctant to take on the tough jobs. Uh, but it will happen. Disclosure of the ET presence is inevitable. I think it could happen this year. Thank you very much. My pleasure.